Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the 14th question from Lead Code SQL in 250 questions. The problem statement is uh, given, a, given two tables, one is called a signups, another table is called confirmation. We have to find out, uh, we have to write a solution to find the confirmation rate for each user. What exactly, it, let's uh, understand it a little bit uh, better. So there are two tables, let's go by these steps. The two table signups and confirmation table, right? Here, imagine you you signed up for um, any any website and and then you you place you are trying to place an order so you go to the next page you first signed up um, and then next step is once you signed up so you you next step is to for the confirmation now again when you go to confirmation page so there are two options either you confirm you finally confirm when you go there and confirm or you just kept uh, it open so it automatically got timed out so. So somehow we have to find out a confirmation rate. How, how does that confirmation is cal rate is calculated? They have given uh, how how to calculate, but I'll give it uh, in in a simple manner here. Let's take this user, user seven, user seven. He he made three requests. User seven is here. User seven is here. He signed up and then he came to the confirmation page or table. Uh, then here he confirmed all three times so which means so you basically take how many times confirmed divided by total number of requests total so three confirmed uh, divided by how many times he visited in the confirmation table that's reason it is one now let's take a user two user two is here he came he signed up and he made one one confirmed request and one was timed out so if you see one confirmed request which is one divided by total number of so total two right total two that's the reason they, they are saying here total number of requests so that is what one divided by two which is is what it is asking us if you see here 0.5 uh, 7 3 divided by 3 because 3 confirmed and 3 requests and for 3 user 3 if you see user 3 here he signed up and he in the confirmation table all three got uh, sorry a 2 2 I'm sorry for 3 user 3 user 3 2 e 2 records are there in the confirmation confirmation table all of them all of them got timed out so that's reason it is 0 right so nothing is confirmation 0 divided by 2 which is 0 so that is what uh, this this means and there is one more additional thing is they are asking us to write a solution find the confirmation for each user so here there, there could be scenarios where user signed up but he did not go to the next page for either confirmation or timeout still we have to present show in the those users information in the output which is user 6 you see user 6 he signed up his information is there in the sign up table uh, but it did not he did not move to the next page that says and that information is not there here but still we have to because he signed up we have to still show him with the output as 0 that's the reason you see here output as 0 so what we have to do is in this is a these two there are these two tables we just have to join them how do I join? If I join using inner join, so I might miss some of the information. Basically, I might use miss the information for six user six. I will have information for all the users which are here, but we need information confirmation rate for all the users which which are in the sign up table. That's reason I use something like a left join. So let's use left join. Select. Select. Uh, let, let's use as of now star. Now from signups. left join confirmation on what let's make this as a s uh, and this as a c on on s dot is ready from this user ready equals c dot user ready Let's let's see what I get. I get all the tables, right? I, I get all the values from these two tables, all the, all the columns from these two tables. 
so this is the output I got it after running this query. Now what, what they are asking is for if you see here for this user for let us say user 7 he user 7 this is from a sign up table and this is from confirmation table for user 7 all 3 information all 3 are confirmed they went to the confirmation table. So we have to just say 3 divided by 3 which is we basically have to calculate average here. Um, so 3 divided by 3 which is which is a 1 fair enough here for uh, user 3 user 3 it is 0 right because 2 0 divided by 2 confirmation rate is there is nothing confirmation here. So 0 divided by there are 2 records in the confirmation table so which is 0 and and for user 2 user 2 1 is confirmed this this is what we have to take 1 is confirmed and 1 is 1 is timeout which is so 1 because there are, uh, 1 is the confirmed divided by how many records are there 2 so which is 1 by 2 which is 0.5 and for 6 there is no record in the in, in the in the confirmation table so obviously it becomes as a 0. So how do I how do I calculate so basically we just have to calculate the average for uh, for all of these users right there is before that for what uh, I have to just use something like a if I have a condition called if if action equals uh, this can be solved using case statement there are many other case if action equals there are many ways to solve this problem but simple explanation is for this is very good if action is called to confirmation then print take one else zero for all of these right so this i i'll just say as i'll, I'll maybe uh, as a as a what they are asking is they are asking is the confirmation right right so i'll mention as confirmation rate user id user id comma if action equal to 1 as user id x equal to 1 and then as confirmation id it is just not wherever there is there is a there is wherever there is action equal to oh, confirm 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 so it will print 1 else it will print 0 this is the first thing but we don't we don't just need uh, let's see and execute what what this gives let's see and execute what this gives again user id i need from user id is ambiguous obviously i'll say i need from signups because there are two user ids which ids i need okay fair enough all right so this is what the output is so if you see here because if you see here or maybe you can also put a conf, uh, action as well the output but I, I we don't need uh, as of now we can we can just for the our our understanding we can put it so for wherever there is a timeout wherever there is a zero or uh, timeout tick, wherever there is a confirm equal to confirm then action equal confirm i'll put one else i'll put uh, 0. So, this is what I got this values now what have all I have to do is I need average average rate that is what it, it is it is giving me. So, I will use something like I do not need action that is I just to wanted to show you guys. So, I have a function average avg average will give me what I need. Now, when I whenever I use average I obviously have to do group by group by on those right group by on user id s dot user id so let's see what this gives me so this gives me information whatever i need uh, looks like i i got the output i if you see here uh, i almost i am almost there uh, however they are also asking us to for 3 it is 0 yes 3 it is 0 for 7 it is 1 right for 2 it is yeah but it is not in the order which they are asking us so uh, i think we order doesn't matter here i guess they result any order yeah i think order doesn't matter what else they are asking they uh, yeah i think this is the one more thing uh, they are asking us to put a, a decimal decimal of 2 so i'll i'll use a round there is one more function called round let us uh, fair enough round of 
two places they are saying right okay it's okay so I'll, I'll just mention this let's see what we get what's the error okay this is this is for if this is for average this is for round yeah let's run now all right let's wait okay it got accepted sorry because i was submitting multiple times that's the reason it it was not allowing okay it got accepted yeah i think that's where um, it's a very simple uh, problem so the using if function we can simply if condition we can simply uh, put one or zero if you visualize it's very easy so here uh, it's a it's one of the i think medium center questions but i feel it is uh, easy i guess let me see is it yeah it's it's a medium interview question uh, from lead code but if you understand if you visualize properly so it will be uh, easy only so only thing what extra is the here is the condition uh, you can use this conditions like case statement you can also use case statement there are many other ways uh, to solve this problem so if you visualize it it is it is good uh, it's easy so that's all guys thank you for watching see you in the next uh, next video